Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Ice Wolves Inside. And it's Liam Brennan! The hat trick goal wins the Credit Union Cup for the LeBron Ice Wolves! Well, on tonight's program, we'll be chatting with Ice Wolves players Skyler Ladoon and Mark Andre Carre, as well as Ice Wolves head coach Bob Beatty. And then our usual From the Stands feature with Ice Wolves followers, we'll be chatting with Scott Boys, Randy Mihailovic, and Kevin Radloff. Should be a great show. We'll see you right back. Welcome back to Ice Wolves Insider. We're joined right now by Ice Wolves players Mark Andre Carre and Skyla Ladoon. Uh, gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So it's been an interesting week for you guys. Uh, obviously, you guys were uh, batting 500, a couple of road wins uh, to start the week, and then uh, a couple of close losses on home ice uh, to the York Interiors, of course, the team you guys beat in the championship final last season. Let's start with uh, the success on the road, uh, wins in Kindersley and, and uh, in the Battleford. So start with you there, Skyler. Uh, what do you think uh, worked well there? Uh, we were dumping it in and uh, running their demon. We got it behind them and we just worked a lot harder. Uh, I think we cycled both, cycled in both games a lot more than we did in these, these past two games at home and uh, just fired pucks on that. Okay, so you think that was the issue in, against the games, uh, I mean, versus Yorkton rather? That uh, I don't know if that was the issue. I, just, I, I think we've tried hard. It's just things, bounces weren't going our way and that happens in hockey games sometimes. So. Okay, and Mark, uh, your take on first off the the wins in in Kindersley and and Battleford. Well, uh, I think we show a lot of character uh, first of all, and then um, I think we have to play like a game in a row. It's like a game home. Like uh, we play physical and uh, like nobody impress us, and then I think we play good, uh, play playoff hockey, and we did really good. But this weekend. Uh, Maybe uh, that was that was playoff hockey, but we just couldn't put the puck in the net. Maybe a lot. We we need a little bit more confidence that we had. Uh, we had a good confidence at the beginning of the year. I think we have to figure out on that. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys were obviously uh, part of last year's uh, championship squad. There. Uh, what do you say are the what would you say are the biggest differences between last year's group and, and the group you've got uh, this year? I'll start with you there, Skyler. Uh, well, obviously defense. Uh, we had a really experienced defense last year when we lost like what four, four twenty-year-olds or something like that. But up front, I think uh, I think it's pretty much the same. It's not a little more skill this year. Um, we had a skilled forwards last year. And we have skilled forwards this year, and uh, goaltending wise, Bart's has been Bart's has been solid just like last year. So I think really the only change has been a bit in defense. Mark, your yeah. thoughts on the, on the two years? Oh, probably the same on uh, Skyler. Eh? We know, we knew that we have a good defense last year because uh, we had like four good defensemen, and then uh, well, we have uh, Phil and Dayton this year. They show a lot of good things for us, and uh, no, I think and on front we know we have skill, we get skill, and uh, we'll come. I think uh, Barco will do the job, and uh, no, this one's pretty good. Yeah, let's talk about things on a personal level. Uh, Mark, you're obviously uh, playing with uh, Doug Linden Smith and, and Logan Haroff. Uh, that's that's a pretty dominant line. Uh, what's what's it like playing with those two guys? Well, like they're both uh, like they have good potential. Eh? We know that uh, every fans in the lines like them, and it sure it helped me a lot to play with those guys. And uh, like, <laughs> I mean, we have we have a good. Uh, Good chemistry, mm -hmm. each other, and uh, I don't know. I like it playing them. Do you find that uh, your line is uh, perhaps getting even more attention from other teams than you were even last season? Like obviously you guys were being noticed last year, yeah. but you think you're getting even more attention from the other teams this year? Well, I think we had a good line last year with Ben Finley and uh, Dougie. I guess I was playing with him uh, too last year, but I guess not. I'm I'm not sure, but uh, we just try to. Keep it simple and do simple plays, and I think uh, it's pretty good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you're playing a little bit more center ice this year than, yeah. than last year. How have you found that? <laughs> I haven't played uh, since maybe six years, centerman, and I have a little problem with the draw. But uh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna have a work on that and uh, try to help the team. All right. 
Skyler, uh, obviously you, you rejoined the team a, a little bit later this year because uh, you're in the Western Ohio League. First off, describe that experience in, in, in the Western League there. Uh, it was good. It was kind of what I expected. Uh, it was a lot faster and harder hitting and stuff like that, and there's a lot more skill, but uh, I just learned just learned a little things here and there, and uh, I just have to think a lot quicker there. And uh, it helped me coming back here, and I wasn't really, when I got sent down, I wasn't really disappointed. I knew I was, knew I was coming to a good team, and I was coming back to all my buddies, so... I didn't really miss it that much. Did, did you notice a, a big difference uh, uh, between playing in the SJHL uh, as opposed to playing in the Western Hockey? League? Yeah, it was it was a lot quicker. I mean, you got the puck, and you have to move it right away. Here, there's, there's a little more time to uh, skate with the puck. So, but it also helps you. I mean, you, you make those plays a lot quicker, and everything just develops in the mind a lot quicker. How have you found the adjustment back to uh, life on the range as well as uh, with with the current group of players? Oh, I like it. I mean, the boys are just. Same as last year, I mean, good bunch of guys, and uh, it's a little different living in the Ron Saskatchewan than Spokane, Washington, but, <laughs> but no, I, I like living here and I like playing here, so it was, I wasn't too disappointed when I was sent down. All right, so uh, as we speak, you guys are solidly in third place in the Bauer Conference. Uh, what do you guys think you guys have to do in, our, in terms of uh, moving up in the standings? Obviously, you guys got a big uh, matchup coming up here against uh, Melfort. Uh, what do you guys think you got to do, say, in the coming weeks? So start with you there, Mark. Well, I mean, you just have to keep going in the same way. Uh, we did pretty good at the first 10 games. And now, uh, like, we have to, um, like, like the game in the weekend, we, we didn't plug the, uh, put the puck in the net. But uh, obviously we have, we have to take our chance. And uh, no, I think we, we work pretty hard and uh, it will come. Sky, the last word to you. Uh, I think we need to put more pucks on net. I think we got sh all shot. We've been getting all shot a lot. And uh, I think we just need to put the rubber on net, hope for rebounds, crash the net. And uh, I, that's really all I think we really need to change, is just get more pucks on net. And uh, you can always work harder. All right. Well, uh, Skylar, Mark, thanks very much for being on the program this evening. Thank you, Thank you very much. All right. Just joining us, this is Ice Wolves Insider. And we've been joined by Ice Wolves veterans Skylar Ladoon and Mark andre Correa. We'll be right back with a chat with the coach.